Hi friends, I welcome you once again. Hope everyone had a good night and it's morning here. For those in different countries, maybe it's evening. I greet you all brethren in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Kasani and today we are going to look at our morning devotion and I always thank God for giving us a gift of life and to enable us to see the new day. So friends, again, we're going to look at a devotion study I entitled, A Secret Conspirator. Of course, a secret conspirator. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come before you today as we're going to study thy word. Be with us, teach us, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. What is a secret conspirator? So today I wanted to look at a secret conspirator. What does it mean? You know, that guilty conscience is a good thing because it is God's way of letting you know that you have done something displeasing to him. Without it, you and me, we would not be aware that anything was wrong and we would continue in our wicked ways. But sometimes the devil like, likes using us. Well, yeah, sometimes the devil uses that guilty conscience. So, he used it as a weapon against you or against us, and it becomes a sacred conspirator, tormenting your soul with inner shame and self loathing. You feel guilty, but past sins that God has already forgiven you for and blame yourself. So some something is not even your fault, you know. When something is not even your fault, so you feel that the Lord has not forgiven you. So the devil would like nothing better than for you to torture yourself into believing that God does not really forgive sins. But friends, I want to tell you, we all know that the enemy we have on planet us is the devil or Satan. But don't allow Satan's lies and condemning accusation to penetrate your th thoughts for one moment. Because the Bible in First Peter chapter 5 verse 8 says, be self-controlled and alert your enemy, the devil. Prowls around like a rolling lion looking for someone to devour. We have to be sober. In another version it says, be sober. Be sober because your adversary, enemy, the devil is moving like a rolling lion. So, God is a loving and forgiving God and he does not want you to torture yourself with false guilty. You don't have to keep begging God to forgive. Keep begging God. You get it. We don't need to keep on begging all day asking for forgiveness because God forgive us the same sin already he forgave you. You can claim his promises in the book of Isaiah. You can read chapter 43, verse 25. 
Uh, I want to read this the scripture and the book of Acts. <clears throat> the book of Acts, chapter 24, verse 16, reads, This being so, I myself always strive to have a conscience without offense towards God and men. So, friends, we don't have always to feel that God has not forgiven you. He's a good God. He's a good God. And the book of Hebrews says, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 22 says, Let us draw near with a true heart in a full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed with the pure water. Amen. Lastly, First John chapter 3 verse 21, it says, Beloved, if our hearts does not condemn us, we have confidence towards God. Have a blessed day, friends. So, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence. Because when your heart does not, when your heart is condemning you, you feel you don't have confidence. You're not worthy to go before God, and because you feel. You are God will not accept your prayers, you will not you know so that thing always because in the book of Hebrews chapter ten verse twenty two says let us draw near with a true heart in a full assurance of faith. You have to have faith that God has forgiven you. When you pray when you pray for forgiveness, just take it that God has forgiven you. Because He is a good God and He always wants us to feel that we are safe in His hands when we think of His name. That we are safe. Whenever we call His name, in any situation we are, we have to feel that God has forgiven us. I love you all, brethren. My name is Kasani. This is Bible Facts Existence Africa. And always don't forget to subscribe and always to share with a friend like us on facebook we have a page instagram tiktok and twitter you can even whatsapp us in the description section we have a contact number you can reach us let us pray father god in heaven we thank you for this moment as you have told us have always to come with confidence and get closer to you in faith lord because you always hear us and forgive our sins and you wash away all that we have done dear lord always continue drawing us near to you because we know that our enemy the devil is against us but who is against us if you are for us lord be with us today and bless each and everyone who listened this message in jesus name i pray amen